Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna show you and how I I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put Akira from Street Fighter V to Sakura's role costume. Because the reason why I'm doing this costume is because it's the most simplest and it doesn't require um physics or um like yeah, physics or apex and that's another tutorial on another time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get Akira's FBX and I'm gonna get Sakura's FBX. So you wanna be mindful of both of these. So first we're gonna get Akira first. Yep, in the swimsuit one. Because this one is the one that you know it's gonna cover up that. So let's get it. But you'll need an AS key. Um so we need a this is where I got this is where I leave the AES key, I think it's called. From the from for the game. But Raven of Fang already has one, like already has it um listed in their description. And you know other people already made tutorials, but I'm just showing you how it's like how I do it. So you want to open the oh yeah I brushed. So you want to go open a U model. You want to make sure this is Unreal Engine four four point seven point six. It's not gonna matter. So you just need four point seven. So let's do the local disk, programs, Steam, Steam apps, common, Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter 5 again, content, packs, and you want to click here. Now, this is where it comes handy. Automatic slot conversion from BBB mods, but in modern base, it shows you which co um, costume codes are at, and Maps King already listed some too, but this is the one I could find is easy. So let me go down, let's go to Akira. So Akira's costume should be around swimsuit 5. <laughs> uh, excuse me, so Z41. So let's go to, we don't need the engine. Uh, we just need the character G41 Skelmesh and oh I lose my memories quick so we need five so let's go here mesh should be right here and we're gonna paste the EAS the EA the A E S encryption key so there we go we got her here and we'll be using DDX Max so we gotta export this first. Let's go to DDX Max here. It's going to take a while, so I'm sorry. If you don't have DJX Max, you can use the PSK and I think a plugin, but I'm not, I don't know how it's done, so I'm sorry. So, yeah, we're going to be getting this costume and we're going to be getting exactly this role costume. Let me find out what slot that is. So, while we wait to that load, let's go to Sakura. Sakura should be around here. Sakura's role costume should be 8. So, we'll be needing that too. Okay, has it been. Is DJ Max open? No? I don't know why it's taking too long to, to load. Oh, it's loading, that's why. Like, really loading.
just gonna wait for DNS Max to start because this is gonna take forever because I'm running on a laptop, so yeah, it's gonna suck. That blow my nose. Finally it loaded. Now, oh, I forgot to mention, the GDX Max script, you'll be needing a run actor exporter script. Actor exporter, yeah, my bad. Okay, so, you'll be needing, we need to, we need to wait till this loads, my bad. Let's not touch this for a while. Yeah, it's gonna load, because I'm running this on a laptop, and it's pretty slow. The, time, the, the startup time on this is pretty slow, and let's oh, wait a while. Okay, it loaded. There's two of them. Too late. You really took too long. Let's delete this. X that out. Hey, I put. I only wanted one. Okay. So let's go run script. We'll be needing an an actor export importer. To import the, um, import the, um, the, the files. So we'll be needing, we'll be needing her material here, her material and mesh. So let's 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 put that there. So we'll be needing her materials here. Whatever you have it extracted. Uh, Z forty one, go mesh. Material. I will be needing her uh, mesh right here. So it's Z forty one underscore zero five. So that's where we're gonna be exported out. Let's just wait a while. Uh, okay. So we need to export that out. Should be like this. Now we have her FBX here. Now we're just gonna put new all because now we're gonna be needing Sakura's um her FBX now. So let me just delete C41 because we won't be needing this. Oh yeah, I forgot that we have to make a Z41 folder for modding. So street fighter. Five content Kara. We'll be doing the same in Unreal Engine, but it'll be a little different. Zero five skill and mesh. Wait, I think that's how you do it? I don't remember. Wait, let me check. Oh, I did this wrong. Okay, never mind. I should be the other way around. Scale mesh. Should be zero 05. Scale mesh. Material. mesh and texture um for now I'm gonna save the packages here save packages the reason why we'll be needing this because we want um actually hair physics too her data asset too I just need her customize material color preview no we don't need her color preview because it already shows up here save packages there's an after image uh, I don't know what this does, so I'm just leave that there. And texture, we just need her textures saved too. So after we do that, we go here to Agro's folder, 
we don't need this because we're going to be creating one. So mesh, go the physics asset go there, the texture go here, and the and the data asset go here. Actually, since I haven't made a data asset folder, let's go put that here. And just in case, we're going to be taking the save packages here. I forgot about the materials, so we can't forget about that. So material, data asset, mesh, and texture. So now, when well now we can just safely delete this. In case not, we can always go back to U model. Now we need Sakura, and I believe she's, she's Z26 and 08. So we'll be needing scale mesh and 8 for the roll costume. If I'm wrong, okay, I'm right. So we're going to be getting this costume, and what we're going to do is do the same thing how we did for Acura. So that's why I put a new one here, is now we're going to export this whole thing. Export. Now we're going to go to 3DX Max and um, go to Material here. 26 skill mesh 08 material mesh c26 underscore 08 now we're gonna wait because 3dx max the one <laughs> is really slow okay so we got it here now we could export her whatever you want to export it that's fine or, I mean, as long as you know the folder, I mean, whatever, like, you ex where you exported it. So we don't need that. Now. Now we can access out safely. So we don't have, <laughs> we don't get loaded too much. So, let's, ex let's save packages real quick here. Let's, um, material. Uh, let's export that just in case. Because the reason why we need this just in case, because sometimes when Blender, you won't be able to see these details clearly. And some people will pay attention to detail, like me sometimes, and you just want to like see that. So, but in, in Unreal Engine, that's not really going to matter. But we could do it without the textures, but if you want to see how it looks with the textures just in case, we can always do that. So let's go to Blender. Now you can use any version of Blender, as long as you know, like, um, I forgot. Wait, yeah. As long as, long as you know how to do it, then you're good. So let's delete the starter, starter thing. And let's import an FBX. Let's import our girl, um, Acura. Okay. So you see that she is right here. Honestly, I don't know what any of this is, like right there, but we're just gonna hide that just in case. So what we're gonna do now is that we don't need these, we don't need this part. So let's delete this part. So I'm gonna be deleting this, the hoodie. So let's delete the hoodie. Uh, we should have her hair here. Should be her hair. Her hair alpha. Skin suit. Hair. Skin. Eyelash. Eyes. Eyes and island. Sorry, I'm making a bit of salsa water. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna save as. It's important to save it just in case. So we're gonna put Acura Roll so we don't lose any progress. So, after we saved it, we're gonna import um, Roll's costume, aka Sakura's costume. 
So let's go to Z26 underscore zero 08. Now, we're going to a little bit, we're going to a little resize it. This is what I do usually when I do modding is I'll resize a little bit to our body like, like that. So, so it don't be too much of a hassle to do. Just want them a little bit aligned. So, we're going to, we're going to move here to another place right here. Now this part is, is, is um I'm gonna control G. Now I'm gonna delete it. Now I'm gonna go edit. Now let's just remove the hair. So I'm pressing um hair. I just wanna delete that. Oh we don't wanna delete the skin because we need we wanna know where it is. So let's remove the hair. Also in case you want to delete it in a different way, you can always press L and do it here. Like delete that. Like say I want to delete her leg. Just press L. Get over here. Press L, and then just delete it. But we're not gonna do that because we already have the selected option here, which is much easier in my opinion. So now this part is really optional. Is where we're gonna add textures. And in case you're kind of like you know confused, we can always add textures so we can see details so we don't really mess it up. So let's go here. So let's go to metal. I think metal should be. Oh yeah, that's why we have U model open because we could check which textures is which. So this will be part of the stuff. Oh, this is just hair, so we really don't need that. So this is just hair. We don't need that. Let me just delete that real quick. If this is hair, no wait, I didn't. I didn't really extract that. Never mind. Sorry, I was just. I was being too rush. So let's go to metal, image texture. Oh yeah, I forgot to export that. So we just need this. We just need color, mask, normal, SRMA, and SSS. Let's export it. So now we'll have textures in hand. Now it's best you know where everything is at because sometimes I don't know where my stuff is at. Because there's so much stuff in here. Game. Okay, so we're going to be going to color, should be a texture format. Now we should be showing us, uh, yeah, like, like that. Okay, so we're going to be going here, jacket, image texture. Now this is really, net, like, this is really, you don't, you don't have to do this because already the materials are already, like, the materials are referencing the textures, which the textures are already there for you. But in case you want to see where things are at and you want to be careful, I can understand, and me too, sometimes I want things to be careful. So you know, so you don't like, like, you know, have uneven lines or stuff. Like, for example, when you were trying to, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, I get that issue sometimes. So color, shoes, image texture, color. And etc. I don't know what etc. is. Let's find out. Also, if you want to find out what a something is but you can't see it through here, go to wireframe view and select it here. And we now we know it's the hat, the the heel, and the belt. So image texture. Go here. And now we did it. Now it should be textured, but uh, object mode. Yep, it looks a bit textured as you can see here. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get her clothing first here. So let's go here. So let's separate these. So select. Uh, actually, let's do her pants, glove. Actually, let's do her glove first because glove looks easy. So let's let's select in the edit mode and press P by selection. So let's go here. And let's go, let's move it here in object mode here. So we're going to align that here. Okay. Now you see, this kind of looks aligned, but it doesn't. That's where we're going to go to sculpt mode. Sculpt mode, which is my favorite thing in the world, is where we're going to go grab. Press F to resize it. And we're going to slightly move that right here. Uh, we want this to align well. It doesn't have to be perfect, but it has to be somewhat close. Because, you know, 
here. Don't worry if the if the if her fingers are going through here. We can always delete the vertices because we're gonna be deleting vertices to avoid clipping here. So yep, so the glove looks okay. So now we're just gonna leave it. Let's check under her finger. Doesn't have to be perfect, but it can be you know. It doesn't have to be perfect, but as long as you get the gist, then you're okay. Let me just, just move that here. Yep, right there. Uh, yeah, wait, use it Right here. Let's go here. Yep, as long as you get it closely to her fingers, you're good, and you don't have to do this. Yeah, yeah it's fine. As long as you get her fingers, you're good. So now we're going to be taking the rest of her costume of Sakura. Is that we go to Odd Mode, select again, Edit Mode, and let's go etc. Shoes, pants, button, jacket metal and her skin hair hmm. skin hair let's just like that let's go select this part oh i guess i can't okay never mind okay wait no but yes i can't because i remember sakura's costume Sometimes when you press vertices, sometimes you don't always press it because when I look at here If you check here This should have been- oh wait This part should have been selected too Along with the thing, but in case not, you can always Actually, we're gonna delete the top part to avoid clipping So we're gonna do that, so we're gonna delete the that area So actually, let me delete- let me select everything again let me go here. So yeah, let's press L. Um, wireframe. Now we're gonna press sh uh, Control and go around here so that these parts get um, not. How does it? It's not. Yeah, not. Um, not really selected, but not. Yeah, so it don't show, so it don't, like, in case she, like, does a movement, it don't, it don't, you know, clip. So let's go to edit mode again. So let's press, etc. Shoes. Pants. Glove. Remember, I didn't rename any of these, so it was just like that when I got that thing here. Let's press L here. And that should be everything. It should be everything. So let's press P by selection. How come that wasn't selected? Oh, I guess you can't really select that. Okay, so she won't be really having socks then. My apologies, because this was attached to the skin. <sighs> That's a bummer. So we're gonna be going here. Now we're gonna. Now this is how I usually place it: is the little orange thing right here, the little orange ball right there. And I usually place it in the middle. And then what I do now is I'll kind of resize it here. Uh, I think this is pretty good. But now we're gonna we're gonna re resize um we're gonna resize this costume to fit um to fit Akira. So let's go to do that. So using the same grab tool here, 
I'm just going to lightly push everything outside. Okay. That's the that's the pants. Um let's see if her that area is fitted as well. Okay. Now it's optional to add the hat, but I add the hat because I think it was cute. Actually, in case you're having a hard time, you could just put edit mode. So if you don't want, if you want to prevent from everything from, you know, going like that, just press P by selection, do that. I'm going to go to this, uh, I don't know what this, other, I don't know what this is called, oh, viewport shading. Let's go, let's erase that here. So let's make the hat fit there. Uh, right there. Okay, now it's now it's kind of fitted, but we're gonna make it fit. Don't worry. So let's go sculpt mode. Now sculpt mode's gonna be your best friend, like it was my best friend to me. But other people do it the other way, but I do it this way. You know. So let's let's do it that way. Now the one thing that we got to do with this part is we got to delete that part over here so we don't have it sticking out in game. So let's delete that part right there. Okay, we deleted that. Um, yep, it should be like that. Yeah, yeah I don't want to delete any further overhead because I don't want her to be like, you know, bald underneath. That makes sense? Okay, so we're gonna be sculpting this part right here. Now you see the pants kind of don't fit, but kind of do. So we're gonna be doing that part. Let's see if her waist kind of fits. Oh, she has a thin waist. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's see here. Okay. Everything fits. Now let's check her feet. Uh, it fits well too, actually, but this part needs to be a little bit, it's a little off-centered, so let's, in case this is a little off-centered, like, again, you can always use this tool, but make it a bit bigger, just to make it fit like that, okay, make it fit, alright, we did it, okay, now, let's check everywhere, oh, we forgot about that area, that little area right there, I noticed there's a little bit of area right there, I mean, this shouldn't really be an issue, but that's okay. Let's delete it. Now we're going to be deleting her, um, her mesh. Akira's mesh to avoid any clipping or any issues. And you know, even the game deletes their own, um, mesh. Like, as you can see in Sakura, deleted her own mesh. So now what we're going to do is go to edit mode. Let's check. Let's check here. Okay, we're gonna delete her. We'll be deleting her mesh. Now we're gonna be going to. Now this is the tricky part is that we're gonna be going to wireframe view, because the wireframe view goes back and forth, like you know front and back. So we're gonna be doing that. While I press shift, I do the the select box. Press shift. Just select the stuff you want to delete. And in case you want to unselect it, unselect them, you can go to control and, like, press control and select them again. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry, I drink seltzer water. So let's control there. Okay, let's delete it here. Now we're going to delete her shoe part, actually. In case your her feet looks weird and you want it to fit a little bit more, you can always go to sculpt mode. Just, just angle it a bit. Like that. Angle it. Yeah. So we're just going to delete her feet part now.
Now we could delete the middle part because her middle part consists of, of uh, the clothing. And it's safe to delete it because, you know, we won't really need that part anymore. Just gonna check here again. <coughs> Sorry, I need to blow my nose real quick. <coughs> it's actually snowing in my area, so that's good. And I mean, it's <laughs> not really good. I got cold really the last couple of days, but you know, I kind of miss having snow. Wish it was snowing in December. So what we're gonna do is press that little um hand tool, I think, move the view, and then let's go closer detail right here. Just go here. So we could avoid clipping in the shoulder area. So it's oh wait, I didn't mean to select her hair. Sorry. Oh yeah, I forgot to do this crucial part is that in case you want to select something but something's in the way. This is my favorite part. Now you want to delete her vertices. Let's see if anything is going. Wait, let me just delete that real quick here. Okay, let's check if anything has been, uh, okay, let me delete that here. Okay, let's stop that. Do so you have anything been, you know, been a little wrong? Can you see that right there? You want to do a little bit of that. Now, in order to prevent um, in case you want to select something, but something's in the way, like say her hair, go check her hair, and her hair alpha, hair zero, and hair alpha two, and P by selection, and this by this the fun part is where you can hide it, so you can hide it. Now go to edit mode, and it won't be there. You can try to select it. Now you could safely do the neck part. Now is that now you could just do this. But since we separated, you're probably questioning, hey, how are we going to bring it back? Well, that's, that's easy. So, we did that part. We did the arm part. We did the, did the, we did the, everything. Now, in order to bring it back and attach it back here, we're going to press Alt H. Now, we're just going to hide her um, armature. We're going to, we're going to um, press her hair. We're going to click her hair first. Shift her body and control J. And now it should be attached to once again, like this. See? It's kind of weird, you know? <laughs> but I don't question it. Okay, so her hat should be a little bit smaller, in my opinion. So let's go work on that a little bit. Uh, hmm. It's not even perfect, but you know. Okay, now what we're going to do is, oh, you know, this is the part where, oh, we're going to a little bit, like, now we're going to fix a little bit of the close to make it tight a little bit. Okay, let's make it tight a bit. Okay, 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 okay. let's make our arms breathe. So now we're going to delete Sakura, bye-bye Sakura. Now we're gonna shift, no, no, actually we're gonna click her hat, shift the body, and control J, press the gloves, and click her, uh, shift, okay, yeah, glove, shift, press her arm, uh, mesh, control J, um, let me delete that part in case, right here, so don't, like, in the game, don't accidentally, like, Let's do that. Yep, so don't avoid any clipping issue. Actually, oh, that depends. It's a little too flowy. So let me go sculpt mode. Let's go here. 
You don't want it too like that? Okay. Okay, we did it. We did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. Okay, so. Uh. Press the close. So it will be selected the shoes too. Shift and Control J. Now, this is the fun part. Is there we got to differentiate which is which? Now, we're going to go to wireframe view and see which is which. So, since there's no swimsuit selected, as we can see, because we already deleted it, we can go to object and get rid of the materials. Now, the reason why I see this is because the, the game needs a certain amount of materials in order for Unreal Engine to, to, to allow it. So, we're going to keep doing that. So, let's check islands, eyes, AIO, eyelash, skin, hair, hair alpha, hair alpha 2. Actually, since sometimes you don't need islands, and just delete it just in case because sometimes there's like a great issue in the eye but I don't know how to fix that sometimes so I'm just gonna delete that and um see etc shoes pants glove button jacket metal and the rest right here we could delete. Eyes, alpha, skin, hair. Now the reason why I didn't close the model yet is for a reason only. Is that now we'll be needing these materials as shown here. So let me go right here. Let me go to Z26. Okay, I haven't saved the um, let me uh Delete the, the two. Remember the two was the hair because we only really, we won't really need the hair. Uh, two, 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 and two should be like four, five items selected because so one, 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 one. So that's okay. Now we'll be needing the materials. Now that's the best part you're gonna do is go to here. Mm, the stuff we have selected right here is will be the ones the materials will be taken from Sakura because we're going to be borrowing materials and be borrowing textures for it to work. So as you can see, because if you don't borrow it, the textures will become great because it's not referencing any material. So now we'll be needing her materials and this is where we're going to be doing safe packages here. So we'll be needing metal, jacket, button, glove, pants, shoes, etc. So we're going to be saving packages. Now we can safely X out this, but let me just save the customized setting just in case. Because this customized settings could, um, put, like, you know, show different colors, because if we just use Acura's colors instead, sometimes I'll just stick to one color. Sometimes, and not a lot of people want just one color, so, yeah, let's X this out. So, remember we have her, remember how we have, um, Acura's uh, folder here, like the Street Fighter 5 materials, the modded folder here, is that now, this is where we're gonna, this is gonna be a little tricky, so Z26, skull mesh, and this is, I, uh, this is, uh, Sakura's materials, so now for the textures, firstly we're gonna do the textures, so we're just gonna click every U asset, I mean, every, yeah, you asset file that has her textures, Sakura's textures that's referencing the clothing, we could put it here. Yep, just like that on Sakura's tech. Oh, wait. Well, before I do that, actually, don't do this. I did this by accident because there's a reason. There's a difference between textures and textures. My mistake. So we're gonna be putting textures here. No, not texture. We want textures. Leave it there. Leave it. Like, don't touch anything, don't edit, don't hex edit. That's textures, and that's texture, because this is textures. We need to follow the order that this has. And sometimes when you see materials, as some for chun -Li's materials too, you could just put those materials in there, but I'm going to teach you on how to, like, properly do it. So, we need a hex edit here. And now, we're going to be dropping all those materials we're going to borrow from for uh, Acura. And you see, everything was referencing Z26 and 08. So now we're going to do is dash Z26 and Z41. Because that's Acura. We're going to be going from Sakura to Acura right here. Replace. 
replace replace now in case you see a, like a a code that's like Z zero E just go from the regular character code like right here like as seen as up there like you don't have to worry about as long as it's in the characters stuff because I know Chilling has a lot of costumes and some will be like Z zero E you just need C and L because that's Chun Li's. So Z26, Z26, and Z26. Now we're not done yet because we'll be needing to reference the. Um, we're going to be needing the code, the costume number to go there. So 08 to 0. Wait, what was accurate stuff again? I forgot. It's 05. 05. So we're going to Sakura's. We'll be going to Sakura's costume to Akira's costume. So let's save that. Save that. Save that. Save that. Save that. Be saving that. And we're going to be saving the last one too. Put that in material. Now remember how we didn't we did we didn't have to weight paint because the reason why we didn't have to weight paint because in FBX models things are already re, re, already painted into the ne like necessary bones. Except if you're doing a girl to guy or a guy to girl, you'll need the breast or shoulder helper to in order to 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 transfer the breast part. I'll, I'll show you in a bit. Oh crap! I deleted the skin. Oh my god. Oh my god, I deleted the most important part of the costume. Okay, we... Let's not delete skin hair. I'm so dumb. I should never delete skin hair because I'm so dumb. Okay, okay. Let's, okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, so I was... Oh my god, I was rushing. I shouldn't have, like, I should have read that. I'm so sorry. So we should be having... See, I totally forgot about skin hair because... <laughs> I thought it I thought it was just like nothing. Okay, so we'll be needing one more. So that's okay. In case you need one more, you just need to pop up the AUC code. Control, go to U model, open wherever you have Street Fighter 5. See small mistakes like this could be easily fixed. Thank god I have good eye to check that out. Otherwise I would have went with the game and it would have like not worked at all. Would have been great. Now should be now should be skin hair. Save packages. Okay, we can just delete that. Now we need this. Can't believe I accidentally like got rid of that material there. So Z26 to Z41 and uh, 08 dash and to, to 0 and 0 5 dash. Oh no, what the? Oh, 0 5 dash. Can't find zero eight. Literally, zero. You can't find zero eight. You can't find zero eight. When zero eight is right here. Okay, let's do that again. Zero eight. Let's search all. Okay, why can't you find that zero eight real quick? Should be zero eight. Zero eight. Oh. I'm at hex value. My bad. Wait, no, wait, text string should be 
Did I do something wrong? Oh, yeah, my bad. I meant to do editor encoding, sorry. I'm just, I don't know anything about hex editing, I'm so sorry. So we're just both suffering together. Oh, man, I just deleted it. I, I X it out. I needed, I needed that material. See, this is why I didn't want to make a tutorial, but this was necessary for people that want to learn. I want to make it because I want people to learn and how to make money because it's important. So now we got this. We got this lovely, lovely Akira mod. Well, not a mod just yet, but we're going to be checking one more thing. It's weight paint. Now this part you don't have to do because like I said, it was already weight painted, but let's see. Let's see anything. Shoulder, arm. Now let's check if the things are correctly done. Yep. See how it's already been like by itself weight painted, so you don't really need that part. Oh no, I'm, I just noticed something terribly wrong. I accidentally deleted her, one of her porn vertices. So that's an easy fix, not a problem. Is that we're gonna be selecting this L part. And uh... And uh... P by selection. Now this is okay, it's easily fixed. Now I'm just gonna sculpt this part. You're just gonna lightly drag that part down. Just gonna lightly drag it right there. Like that. Just need to drag that out. Now remember, modding isn't gonna be perfect when you do it. I have only been doing it for months right now. I'm not good either. And even if you do your best, you're gonna think that your best isn't enough. But trust me, it's gonna be enough. It's gonna be clearly enough. So let's do that. Okay. So happens when he has the only delete important vertices. Okay, now Okay. Now we're just gonna do Control J. Now we could export this now, because this is already um good. You know, so let's go for armature. Now you want to shift, control, export, dex, de uh, desktop. You want, want to place this. No, actually, no, Z41, armature mesh. Yeah, you want to click. Oh, yeah, how I did this was that I export FBX. So let's, let's control everything. Yeah, I'm just gonna control everything. Z41. So shift, armature mesh, selected objects, geometry. You could ignore that. Car transfer doesn't matter. Um, face, armature. You want root and no leaf bones and baked animations should be unchecked. Now it's gonna do its thing. And now we can open Unreal Engine 4.7.6 to be exact because we'll be needing this so the game could cut out the content and so we don't have to make the game uh you know so it could work also you'll be needing pack bot manager in order to see this game in order to see the in order to see your mods make sure you don't have anything in the Acura slot if that makes sense like for me <laughs> I modded so much things for Luke and I might have accidentally put anything for Army. I mean Acura. Why did I say Armika? <laughs> okay, so let's go to Project, put Acura. Now this is where we're gonna follow. Yep, should be. We're just gonna put that my Acura role. Content character scale mesh zero five and material. You want mesh here? So we're good. We're gonna be close eye right here. So it's content. Ok, 
character. Oh crap, my bad. Character. Well, character actually. Z41. CMN. This, the reason why we write CMN is, I think, to, well, actually, this prevents from the character from T-posing. So we'll be needing their skeleton right here, C41. Skull, skull mesh. Zero 05. Material and mesh. This should be how set it up in this. Should be set it up like this. Skelman 05, no, etc. Now we're going to be exporting Acura's FBX right here. So this is E41 underscore 05. So we want 0 0.393708. I think that's how you do it. I got to check the tutorial quick. Give me a second. Let me do you think. I gotta check how you import how you would import it because sometimes I would forget. Also, you should check out Remy Fang. She is really amazing. I mean it. I mean it with the whole sincerity. She is really amazing, man. Okay, so hmm. actually, let me check real quick. You know, this video actually taught me how to mod, but I kind of messed up my first try, so don't worry. In this tutorial, she was using an XPS, so don't worry about that. Yeah, 0 0.9, 0 0.393708. That's what you want. 393708. Now we gotta be mindful of how many materials we use because if we use too much, the game won't really, uh, you know, won't be friendly to you. If that makes sense. Well, it's not going to be friendly, but it's just going to not work. So let's check how much materials. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, 60 is enough, actually. So we're just going to wait. Compiling shaders, we just, you know, so we don't have to mess that up. We really don't need this. I don't know why it's showing up there if we have no textures here. You know? Let's just wait a while till the compiling shaders have been already been, you know, gone. Because if we just do it already, it's going to might crash. But for the meantime, we could rename the skeleton to CMN. We'll replace it to the skeleton folder right here. Move here. I'm just going to wait. If I see any textures here, I'm going to be upset because that means I have to do a different method. Oh, wait. Duh, I forgot this last thing. I'm so stupid. I'm doing, st I'm doing, like, I'm finding out something each time I do something. This is how dumb I am, man. Actually, let's delete that real quick before I go any further. <laughs> I forgot one necessary thing is to delete. <laughs> is that we have to go to edit mode? Box select tool, select all, and clean up. To avoid any, like, um, merge by distance, 5,800. 5,080 vertices removed because we need this part because because it's the order to clean up the vertices so it don't look like it's a little like you know line after line if that makes sense so you want to export it how we did I'm so sorry I totally forgot about that part my mind is everywhere today Oh, but yeah, yeah, we have to do this again. But I don't mind. Sometimes you learn something every day. What? Anything you do at the minute. <laughs> and you'll be like, oh, crap. I didn't need to do that. Now we're just going to replace this to CMN. No, 
know why I replaced this. Yeah, the, let's rename this to CMN. So this is the CMN folder. This texture, since it imported a texture from here, we could just name a folder. But we don't have to be using this like this textures because we already have a texture that's been referencing. So you don't really need to like you you don't need this part. But in case in case in case in case we're just gonna move it here. See, this is why we should have waited, cause um, you know, all those compiling shaders would be like that. That textures. Now, um, this will be another tutorial on how to do this textures part. Even Raymond DeFong already have that part in Etchy Gamer. And yeah, so this part we're just gonna do character. Never def never stream and TC default right here, and we're just gonna save that part. It's not really important. So now we have 16 materials and this should be referencing 15 and plus one, which is 16, which is which is A-OK. -okay. So we're just gonna we're just gonna put the material here. Shift. Yeah, you gonna press shift and and Press on the bottom. Let me to to from the front to the back, and and right click and create material instances. You want to delete the old material, like that. Oh wait, that's really confusing. So let's go here, 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 here. Anything that doesn't have an asterisk or star, you could just delete. And make sure the ones you're deleting is a material right here. The material you could safely delete all that. So let's go to inst do you want to delete the underscore INST or instances part? Now there's one thing I need to note that when if you if you're wondering why there's some uh how do I say this? When I get there I'll show you. Because it's one of the material instances. And as you can see in Blender. Now, yeah, this is where the confusing perk goes in, is that this is hair underscore zero zero one, while in Blender it says zero underscore, I mean, point zero zero one, which is the same material as hair, but since the game doesn't, I mean, since Blender doesn't want to rewrite it, we're just gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna just show you how to do this part here, the hair underscore zero zero one, and we're gonna assign this to the hair material, because these both, this shares the same one as this, but it's just renamed like as a different thing. So let's just do that part. Now this is the reason why I didn't Excel Blender just yet, because first, yeah, since we did that part, now she's gonna look like this, and this is A-OK. -okay. Even though she looks a little bit scary. Now this is the part which is kinda tricky tricky for me because you want to be, be careful about this part so let's stretch out this part because we want to see the names and for this part we just want to see which materials which right here so this should be eyes this should be eyes see eyes I shad uh, I A O. I don't know what that is. Eyelash. Skin. Gonna be copying this whole thing here. Hair. Five. It should be. Hair alpha. This part should be hair again. Yeah, that hair underscore was from there. And you want to send that to hair because that is the same um, material pretty much. We don't want to auto save. You know, I close that thing so many times, I don't know why it's still showing up. So, skin hair. What's this? Hair? 
skin hair, yeah, that should be skin hair. Wait, what? Hair. Okay, let's do this again. So eyes, pale eyelash, skin, hair, hair alpha, hair. Hmm. Sometimes I had this issue with the other mod, but I don't know what the hell is going on here. Showed it as hair. I don't know why, but it didn't show as a skin hair. Hair alpha two. Hmm. That's really odd. Oh wait, I know what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm so dumb. So this should have been uh should be hair. Hair, hair alpha 2. I don't know why I made a big deal out of that. I think I just read it wrong. Hair. Skin hair. Metal. Jacket. Button. Glove. Pant. I don't know why this is showing us as texture. It should be no texture. It should be no texture. But I'll leave it. That that doesn't matter. We don't need that texture anyway. It's not gonna. It's not gonna. No, it's yeah. So this. This should be pants, shoes, shoes, and uh, etc. So shoes. This should be textured. Yep, save. Material. Wait, why is it showing as that? There's no material such as name as that. I don't know why it's there. Oh, that's why. Because I haven't, I haven't, um, got rid of, wait, what? This is the material ins what? Okay. That should have been shoes. Okay, I'm not gonna bother with that. Um actually I'm just gonna like ignore that part. Oh, that's material. Oh, that's just material instances. Okay, let's cook this. Uh, let's cook this now. I'm just gonna save this just in case. Okay, so cookie should be completed. Now we're gonna go to whatever the project is at. Saved. Do not put content because content will crash the game. And I mean that. So saved, cooked, widowed, no editor, my project Acura, content character 041, scale mesh 05, mesh should be right here. Now we're just gonna place there. And since we did the FBX thing already, we, we are good. And now all we're gonna do is just put it in here. Make sure I have no any mod like getting in the way of. Kira. So let's put that there. Now we're going to start the game. Oh yeah, we'll be needing the color tool too.
it's best that you have this game in windowed mode, and I mean that, because sometimes this game doesn't want to, you know, want to even just open sometimes, and I forgot to put this in windowed mode, because I was recording a mod for Luke, so yeah, you want this opened, no, yeah, we're going to be using the color edit tool, I forgot who made it, but I'll link them below, desktop, Five. Now these are the colors. These are the swimsuit colors. This game is a little so slow because I run my lap, uh, I run super five on a lap potato. I didn't mean that. <laughs> it's a 2018 laptop. It's so slow. Now we're just gonna wait, and we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait for a while until yeah, that screen shows up. <sighs> I really don't want to wait for this stuff. I just wanna. Just want, I just wish the Street Fighter 5 startup thing was fast. Hmm. And I think OBS slows down my performances too. That was gonna be suck. It's gonna look like it crashes when it really doesn't, so just how the game usually does. Unless it really crashes and I'm just bluffing. See, I told you it didn't crash, it was just taking a sweet time. Now this mod I just made didn't have any physics, skirt physics or hair physics. I mean it does have hair physics but it doesn't have um doesn't have that, you know, that, that physics, those extra physics. And those are other tutorials on how it's made, and I'm gonna make a tutorial on how to borrow physics, how to, how to merge physics, and how to, like, like, how to, like, do the whole physics things in Unreal Engine. It's kind of confusing, I mean, yeah, Unreal Engine is kind of confusing, but, yeah, I still, I kind of get the hang of it, kind of, sort of, not really. But it's gonna be a little, a little tricky, but if it could be done, it could be done.
first one close the BGM because that's a little too low. No. Let's go to Acura. Please let this be good. If it's not, then I'm gonna cry. What? We're supposed to be for this. What happened? Unless I did something wrong. Hmm. I must have done something wrong. Give me a second. And don't be like me that did this part because I'm pretty dumb. I did this part wrong you know what was wrong is that I accidentally put skill mesh instead of character man sometimes I might be the most mm, I don't want I don't want to I don't want to like insult to myself but oh no not z42 isn't her z41 I don't remember <laughs> I think hers is z41 let's check Akira, tell me which one are you? Z41, yeah, I was right. Okay, so after this part, it should show up in the game. I'm so sorry, y'all. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, you want Street Fighter 5 content, character Z41, <laughs> any character code that you had, and mesh materials and stuff. So let's put that back here. Now it should be working. Now it should. Otherwise, if this don't work, then I don't know what... <laughs> I don't know what, so I, I think I rushed this. If we had a wait up this the, the thing again, I'm so sorry. And this video is totally unedited. Like I'm serious. Like this is how the whole thing recorded. This is how I mod if I had to mod for any character. Except if it's like skirts and stuff and something else that required more work than the ones you see right here. Sorry, I'm just watching with you.
battle set. It works. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is that this don't have color. Uh, that's okay, we can always borrow. Whose physics asset is from... Actually, first, let me change the... Oh my god, this is so slow. Well, what we're gonna do is if we want these colors to show up, show up. Like, I mean it. Like, really show up. Like, now, let's open Pokemon Manager is that we'll be needing this. We'll be needing her. Right here, yeah, right here. We we'll need Sakura's customized setting, and now we're just gonna we're not gonna delete this one because we'll be needing this too because we're gonna be needing the skin hair and etc. But oh my god, this is so slow. As you can see, these colors are wonderful if you're okay with it just being white. But on the other hand, we could we could make it show up like these colors. We can make it show up like this these colors. Because we need to borrow Sakura's customized setting. And we'll be needing to place actual Akira's uh, setting somewhere else. Is accurate. Oh, I don't know why the hair is like that. For some reason always happens with the hair. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Yeah, that part, it always happens. It gets me annoyed. So it kind of looks like it's a streak here. I don't know why it does that. I have not a clue. I mean, it kind of looks cool in my opinion. I see what's wrong. Oh, So I think I did something wrong too because now this texture is getting out of place. How I know why what's wrong? Okay, I think I kind of know why, but I kind of don't. Hmm. Well, let's check. See what the things I did wrong here. Is that I don't think I'll be needing. I won't be needing swimsuit. No zippers. No hoodie. No islands. Okay, we'll just be needing these. Okay, so now we're gonna be put this away. Just get out of here. Get out. You don't need you. Now we just need this here. But now we just gotta really rename it. So Z41 as usual. And 05. Oh crap. Okay. And then zero eight, zero eight to zero five. 
Okay, let's save that. And now just in case, we're gonna be opening it with the color edit tool. Should be 15 colors again. Okay, this should be like that. Okay, let's soul. Let's, let's delete that here. I don't know why it happened like that again. See, this is why I don't do mods for Acura, because that issue could happen. I don't know why. I'm going to be real with you. I don't know why that happens. Also with Mari, you'll notice that you'll be going back and forth a lot, like me, and that's completely okay. Even though it's kind of annoying, but for me, it's it's, uh, it's what hard work comes with. Don't worry, passion will drive anyone to stop, I mean to, not stop, to continue. How you get it is like this. Now there's probably an issue why her hair is like that, but there's a way to kind of fix it. I think there's a probably an issue right here. Oh, I think I know what's wrong. Maybe because it's metal. If I change it to this hair to the middle part, see what happens. Eight. If this works, then holy crap, we got an Acura model already for for roll. And that, yeah, because sometimes when you do this way, the FBX sometimes will just get mixed match, as you know. It gets confusing, but you know. Let's check one, metal, two, three,
Okay, I think there might be an actual issue with this color customized setting. So let's back up and save. Let's check the circuit packages. See, this is how I normally do Hana Mod is that, you know, sometimes Mod can be really pain in the butt and even so, there's still, still a way to fix it.
No, we better freaking break because if we don't, then um, I gotta go through every color and see which one's the hair. Oh wait, wrong costume. <laughs> I forgot it's the wrong costume. Cause if this is not the hair issue, then man, I really, really gotta like figure out which one is which. It's gonna be annoying. And it's gonna take too much time. And I'm just gonna Oh yeah, we did it. Okay, it was that issue. It was the jacket. Okay, we got that under we got that. We got that. We got it. Okay, so So then this look cute on an Acura. Okay, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay. Okay, that was the right right color. This is what I say. This is why you should transfer the old colors of Acura to the new customized setting from Sakura to Acura. That makes sense. 